is Heidi at Easy Peasy. I'm going to show you how I pack the Mama Kocha diaper and beach bag for a day at the beach with my two kids. I have a seven year old and a two and a half year old toddler who's potty trained. Right now I'm using this backpack as a beach bag, but pretty soon we're expecting our third baby and I'll switch over to using it as a diaper or nappy bag to pack cloth diapers. Thank you so much to the Mama Kocha brand for sending this bag to me to share with you. I love to support sustainable small businesses. If you're wondering about the name, Mama Kocha is the Incan goddess of the sea, so I think that's perfectly fitting. It's an Australian brand, but they do ship worldwide. This backpack is perfect for those who are looking for a sustainable option made from natural fibers, or for a minimalist mom who wants a multi-purpose backpack. And it's also great for those of us who love going to the beach. It's made mostly of a cotton canvas fabric. There's some little accents on it that are leather. It's vegetable tanned leather, so that's the more eco-friendly way to process leather. Let's go ahead and look at how I pack it and the features that make this bag so unique. Personally, when I'm shopping for a diaper bag, there are two main features that I look for. I want something that's nice and spacious and roomy enough to fit cloth diapers. And secondly, I really like to have two generously sized outside water bottle pockets. So let's start with those water bottle pockets. They have little snap closures and they're somewhat magnetic, which makes it easier to figure out how to line up the snap to get it snapped back closed. On this side, I have my Hydro Flask water bottle. It's 21 ounce. It fits perfectly fine in here. And these are actually insulated water bottle pockets. So if you have a different style water bottle that's not already insulated like mine, this insulated pocket can keep your water bottle cool. Then on this side, I have my daughter's water bottle. She has a Hydro Flask as well. Now right on top, there's a small little zippered pocket. What I use this for is my phone and my coin purse. It may not be the safest, most secure place to keep them, but it's the easiest access for me. I'm often taking out my phone to take pictures. I've got a biodegradable plant-based plastic cover on my phone from Pila. And I have a small little pack safe coin purse I keep in here. This bag does have another feature if you're worried about taking money to the beach. I'll turn it around and show you. On this strap, there's a little pocket. So it's designed if you wanna put like one debit card in there or a little bit of cash. So far we haven't actually used this, but if you do want something more secure, you don't wanna bring your whole wallet, but maybe just 20 bucks to the beach in case you grab a snack or something, you could keep it in there. And then this strap has a place to keep your keys. It only fits a small set of keys. If you have like a huge chunky keychain, it's not gonna fit in there. But I think this is really awesome because often I will be wearing a baby toddler on my front in a carrier, have my backpack on my back, and if I'm walking home, when I get home, it can be hard to try to search in a bag to get my keys out. But with this, it's super easy. Just take the keys right out of the strap. There's another diaper bag feature built in here on the back. Right here it snaps closed and there's a small pocket where you can fit a changing pad but it's only going to fit a really small changing pad. Mama Kocha does offer one that matches the backpack. What I have in here is a really trim Logan and Lenora change pad and this one barely fits in the back pocket. So anything thicker than this, I don't think you're going to be able to get it in there. Up top here it also has stroller clips and you can take these off. So sometimes when we're out for a walk, we like to use the stroller clips. If I happen to be going to the beach and not taking the stroller that day, I can just remove them to make it a little lighter weight. Now there's this front pocket here that's designed to fit a diaper clutch. I have in here three sun hats for my daughter, my son, and myself. I usually wear like a baseball cap around, but if I'm at the beach, I switch into a nice full coverage sun hat. And I keep in here as well this Planet Wise wet dry clutch. So right now, since my daughter is potty trained, I have in here a spare outfit for her, a couple extra pairs of underwear, a cloth wipe. So if she were to have an accident, then we can use that spare outfit for her and move the wet outfit into the waterproof lined pocket. So this little clutch is a great size to fit in here. If you're diapering and using a diaper clutch, you can fit it right into that generously sized pocket. 
So it's just an open pocket. Now let's go ahead and get inside the main compartment of the backpack. It has a snap here to open up and then this cotton drawstring here. Right on the very front here, there is a pacifier pocket that's lined. We don't personally use pacifiers, so I haven't found anything to put in there yet. I keep the inside of my beach or diaper bag organized by using wet dry bags, so I'll show you the two I have in there. This is a wet dry bag by Assembly. The cool thing is that they use recycled polyester to make both their diaper covers and their wet bags. So it's made from recycled water bottles. In the outside pocket, I pack one swimsuit for each family member. Normally when we leave the house to head to the beach, I have everybody wear their normal clothes and then when we get to the beach, change into swimsuits. When we're done, we shower, dry off, change back into regular clothes. If it's a short outing and we're just gonna go directly to the beach, then we might wear our swimsuits when we leave the house and I'll just make sure I pack extra outfits for everybody to wear on the way home. Then it has the waterproof pocket. So I really like having a bag like this so that once everybody's changed out of their damp, wet, sandy swimsuits, I can put them in the waterproof pocket, come home, wash the swimsuits and wash the bag. However, with this wet dry bag, since it has a metal zipper, I'm a little worried about it snagging things in the washing machine. So I do put this in a delicates bag when I put it in the wash to make sure it doesn't like snag up the swimsuits. And then I also have in here a Thirsties wet dry bag. This has an outer mesh pocket. It's a polyester mesh. I like that it's a little bit see-through so you can kind of tell what's in there and breathable as well. In here I have two of these very thin lightweight Pashtimal Turkish beach towels. So these are great. They really make it easier to pack up a beach bag because they're not so bulky. We usually bring along these two for drying off and then I'm using as a tablecloth this bigger beach towel that we bring to to sit on. But the bigger beach towel we're not able to fit in the beach bag. But we've gotten by sometimes even just using one of these for the whole family if it's mostly meant to just dry us off. And then if we wanted to, when we're done drying off, we can move these into the waterproof pocket. My husband usually likes to just leave all the beach towels out to kind of let them dry on the ride home. So we don't always put them in here, but that's an option. Mama Kocha also offers some waterproof wet bags on their website as well if you want to get one to coordinate with the bag. On the back inside of the bag, there's these two pockets here. And then over on the side, there's also two pockets as well. The top elasticized pocket here is the perfect size for our little zero waste sunscreen kit that we take with us. And if you can see, it's mesh at the bottom of this pocket, which allows any sand to fall through the pocket. Let's look real quick what I have in my sunscreen kit. It's packed in a Planet Wise bag with this clear front, but it's PVC free, non-toxic. I have a mineral sunscreen stick by Little Hands. So this is a reef safe option. Here in Hawaii, they are banning sunscreens with certain chemicals that damage the coral reefs. So you'll want to go with a reef safe mineral sunscreen if you come to visit Hawaii. For my daughter and I, I really like to have a stick option for applying to our face. Then I have this sunscreen by Raw Love that's also reef safe mineral based in this tin. It's got a bit of a scent to it, so that's one reason I prefer not to use this on my face. But I can use it on arms, wherever else we need it. We also tend to normally wear long sleeve rash guards and sun hats so that we don't have to cover all of our body up with sunscreen, just little portions. I have a zero waste lip balm by Honeybees. These are made here on Oahu and you can order them on Etsy. I'll leave links to all these products in the description box below the video. We also have our Badger Anti-Bug Balm. This is something we use more often if we're going for hikes instead of if we're going for the beach. Before I was taking all these items, moving them between our beach bag and then into our hiking backpack. Now the great thing is with this backpack, we can use it either for the beach or for hikes, so don't have to keep switching things between bags. We also have a little thing of surfer salve that can be used to soothe if you get a sunburn or if you get a bug bite. And some extra hair ties in case either my daughter or myself need those while we're at the beach. 
Now there's a lower down pocket that's about the same size. In this one, I keep a pair of goggles for each member of our family. Usually it's just my son who's asking me right away for his goggles, but then my daughter wants to wear hers to be like her brother, and my husband and I also have some goggles as well. There's just two side pockets on this side of the bag, but none on this side and inside. This top one I use for storing our face masks, so if we wear them on the way to the beach but then take them off before we go swimming, I can put them in there and they won't get lost in the bag. In this bottom side pocket, I keep our little first aid kit. It's packed into one of these welly tins where it comes with band-aids in it, but then I swap out and I put in some of our own little first aid items like Highlands Arnica pellets, some rescue remedy, some little pads for cleaning if my kids get a cut, and some of the welly band-aids are in there as well. That clears out the inside of the bag. I mentioned how all these internal pockets have mesh at the bottom so sand can go through. So this is the super cool feature of this bag that really drew me to it, is after you're done with your day at the beach, if you wanna get the sand out of your bag, like my toddler thinks it's great to take a handful of sand, just dump it in her beach bag, this is so awesome. What this bag does is it unzips on the bottom. And it's mesh here on the bottom. So you can unzip it and shake the bag out and any sand can fall out of those pockets, fall out of the main compartment and get it out of your bag. There's also one more feature that's built into the bottom of the bag here. It comes with on the very bottom here, one waterproof pocket. So there is a little bit of plastic used in this bag and Mama Kocha is looking for ways to be more sustainable in the future. They hope that any of those synthetic plastic parts they'll make from recycled materials. And they're hoping to also offer organic cotton canvas in the future. So right here is a waterproof little pouch that's hidden away. So I think that's perfect if you're out and about and you have like a blowout, baby's outfit gets messed up unexpectedly, you have somewhere waterproof that you can put that. I put those wet dry bags back in so I can show you some optional items I could fit in this extra space right up here. So these are all optional items depending on exactly where we're going for that day, like if we're going to be snorkeling or how long we're going to be out. I could bring one of these, just one of them at a time would fit up top in the bag. So I could bring my son's snorkel set, that fits in there. Or I could bring my daughter's beach toy, which is this bucket and shovel. It's from Green Toys, it's recycled plastic. This is most often what we end up bringing. So that's one option. Or we could fit our snack bag, which is a linen cooler bag, the small size one from So Young brand. And normally this doesn't end up going inside the bag because I usually do have the beach toys along. So normally when the snack bag is filled up nice and full for a day out, instead what I do is I use my hero clip. So this is extra, it doesn't come with the bag. But what I do is I take the hero clip and I clip it onto one of these that's meant for the stroller clips. And then I clip on our snack bag so we can tote our snack bag along. I always like to bring plenty of water and snacks for a day at the beach. And the final optional item that I could fit in is this Bubla travel potty. So we both practice elimination communication, which is a gentle method of allowing a baby opportunities to use the potty. And then my daughter is also potty trained and sometimes she needs to go pee at the beach, but she needs to go right away. Like there isn't time to walk across to where the restroom is. So we usually bring either this Bubla travel potty or a collapsible potet plus to the beach. This Bubla travel potty is more compact than the Potet Plus, so I find it's easier to pack it inside the bag. Usually if I bring along our Potet Plus, I have to have a separate bag for that. So there's another option, and sometimes with these I can't quite pull the drawstring that much, so it's not super secure and closed on top. If you want to keep it really secure, then maybe don't pack one of these extra items. That wraps up what I pack in the Mama Kocha backpack for a day at the beach. Pretty soon here, when our third baby arrives, I'll be switching over and using this as a backpack diaper bag for cloth diapering. If you're curious to see what to pack in a diaper bag when you're using cloth diapers, you can watch my video Lesson 12 where I share cloth diaper bag essentials. Please subscribe to follow our AC and cloth diapering journey with our third baby.